Well, now we're going to be looking at the brush tool. And I got to say, the brush tool inside of Flash is actually pretty simplistic when we compare it to some of the other ones. Um, and as you can see here, if I were to choose the B brush tool, notice that my stroke color is black. So if I were to come in here, um, it's not giving me the stroke color the way the pencil tool does. So it's giving you a fill color. So the pencil tool gives you black for the stroke, same as the line tool, but when you're working with brushes, you take the color of the fill color that you have here. Well, let's look at some of the options for this particular brush tool. I'm just selecting all, control A, and deleting it. And at this point, you can see that um, if I were to come in here and say the brush shape, what kind of shape the brush has, um, that I'll explain in just a second. But first, let's look at the brush size. Now, I'm just going to move this over so you can see, get a better glimpse of what that actually looks like. The brush shape is one thing, but the brush size is something that I want to explore. So I'm going to choose the largest size that I have available right now. And you can see that if I wanted to, here is an S, and there is an A, and an N. So let's say I wanted to make something in a sans serif, something like this, right? No serifs. As you can see, it looks a little like comic sans, where all of the stroke sizes are roughly all the same. Now, I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to show you something different. If we were to choose a different shape, something that's not completely circular, but rather something that has more of a slanted effect to it, you'll notice that this text now has thick and thin transitions. So in other words, areas where there's going to be thicker text and areas where it's going to be thinner. So this emulates more of a calligraphic brush. So it kind of gives you a, an interesting approach to what you want to be doing with these and how you want them to all look. So the brushes themselves, and I've left behind something, the brushes themselves are kind of interesting uh, because you can choose from different sort of shapes in your brushes. However, let me just make well aware of the fact that all of these brushes are extremely limited, not only in its size, but also in its shape. And if you've ever used brushes in Photoshop or Illustrator for that matter, um, you'll notice that by comparison, Flash is very, very poor on the brush strokes and the brush sizes. Now, that doesn't mean you can't do things with the brushes. Certainly you can. But what it does actually mean is that you'd probably do best if you're looking for something that is a much more, you know, a professional view of brushes. Um, to do well by looking at Illustrator or Photoshop and bring in some of those. Since Illustrator is a vector-based drawing program, just like Flash is, it'd probably be best to take some of the brushes from Illustrator and bring them into Flash. And we'll talk more about bringing in um, drawings or other elements from Illustrator in another video a little bit later on. So other than that, there's really not much else that you want to be dealing with your um, brushes. You'll notice that there is an option here that allows you to paint normal, paint fills, paint behind. Well, paint normal is what you want to be doing. But however, like let's say I had uh, an object that looked like this, and I'm going to actually delete just the fill shape. And if I were to go back to my tools, maybe grab a pen tool, and as you can see, I'm just going to, you know, come in here and draw a little curvy shape, just as I've done there. And you'll notice that these shapes are not filled in. Well, with the brush tool, we could come in here and say, hey, just paint the fills. And if I were to do this, well, you know, that doesn't really work all that well. That's one of the reasons I'm a little reluctant to sort of show you what's going on with that. But if we said paint behind, um, that would work if we actually had a fill. Um, if we could say paint the selection or paint inside, right? So that works, but as you can see, what it's allowing us to do is to only paint what's inside there. And if you go out too much, it doesn't really work all that well for you. Now that seemed to work okay. But listen, with all of this information that you have here, it's probably so much easier and so much better to just grab your paint bucket tool and fill that information in just like this. 
much, much simpler, much easier, and you get much more precise uh, results. So that's the um, you know basics of the brush tool. It's okay, but there are better ones out there.